I hope that you guys are having a great Sunday. It is Sunday fun day, and I am Isabel Wonderlust. If you aren't already, please follow and uh, share this with your friends. Hi everybody. Hi mom. Hi Frito. Ooh, it's zoomed in. I don't want that. I know mom. This guy is singing, I think, in an African language. Uh, but I have heard him say Alaikum Salam. So I'm thinking maybe country that speaks Arabic as well. There, you guys can see him and see me at the same time. He's got a really nice attitude too. Hi guys. This is in front of Lake Geneva. In front of Lake Geneva, which is in Switzerland. So this is my last night of my European tour. And uh, we considered going to um, basically the a lake tour at sunset but it was so expensive and that was just for the ticket and then like the dinner that was supposed to go with it was another like 30 francs so it is not a lie that Switzerland is the most expensive city I've been in so far What is most likely to happen is that I will end up shortly on this. Yes, uh, Geneva is definitely the most expensive city that I've been in. Every time we have dinner, it's at least, even for two people, it is at least, hi Veep! It's at least, um, uh, what was it? It hasn't been cheaper than like $40, and that was like little tiny places. And what was the question? Did I go to Zurich? No, my friend lives here in Geneva, so um, I decided to end my trip. Well, we went to uh, Rome, and I decided to end my trip. Hey, J. Earl, hey, Frito, to end my trip here visiting him. Um, so. I actually was here for a month, um, five years ago, so I've kind of already seen a lot of, uh, of Geneva. So I did walk you guys around a little bit yesterday, but it was really, there wasn't a lot going on. Um, the couple of places that we wanted to take you, there were special concerts going on, so I wasn't really able to take you up into the steeple of this place that has a great view of Geneva, but, um... Yeah, how many days have I been here? Uh, three or four? Four? But I've been traveling for the last 23 days. So are you guys all having a great Sunday? It's actually really cold. Hi! Hi, India! <laughs> Also, um, one of the other things is 
I love the sunsets here because even though it's not on the horizon, you've got all the mountains all around. It's beautiful. With the Alps on one side and the Jura, Jura mountain range on the other, you can actually see um, Mont Blanc in France um, from Geneva, from the other side of the lake. It's really beautiful here. <laughs> Bonjour Africa. Let me stand up so you guys can get a better view. Oh, I believe it. I'm kind of a, a sucker for anything that is um, near the water. So while this is not the beach and it is really cold, it was uh, 66 degrees Fahrenheit when I woke up today. When I woke up today, it was 66 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is just super cold for me. Uh, I don't know about you, but that that's sweater and pants, so I... I did what I could to find something warm and I have stayed out of the shade and in the sun pretty much all day. Um, and we've just kind of been walking around sitting by the, uh, by the water. Let me show you the water taxis. Hi Alex! You guys know I'm not seeing any of your bubbles at the bottom so if you don't say hi I don't know you're here. So this is a water taxi. Let's see if I can get my finger there. This is a water taxi. Uh, it's about two francs. There's three different lines. Um, we were looking at taking one of those just for fun. I think it's kind of silly. Hey, Smith! I think it's kind of silly to go from here to here, even though it's only two francs. When it really only took me ten minutes, ten, not even ten minutes to walk from right there to over here. Um, but yeah, so I we didn't do that and he said well we should go we should go I've never taken uh, a boat on the on the lake during the day and I looked at the boats and they're all enclosed in windows and I'm going and he's like you could go live from there and I said yeah yeah that would be fun but it's I don't know it just seemed silly because I didn't want to be stuck like a sardine in that little boat with a bunch of people and not really be able to see anything <laughs> um, you know what I mean so I kind of just said eh but they do run even uh, in dark, in the dark. Well, actually I did. My first night here after we got back from uh, Rome, a friend of his was having a birthday and they were all hanging out on this boat. So we got back around 10 o'clock and we dropped off our bags and immediately went to meet them on the lake. And it was amazing. I lay down on the boat and just looked at the stars and the moon and it was it was really nice really peaceful and restful and um, it was great it was great there's no pictures of it because you can't really capture that kind of moment um, at least not well <laughs> can't capture that moment well but uh, yeah so Geneva has been kind of a relaxing stroll down the river walk kind of thing it froze because I was moving the camera around. That's what happens when I move the camera. Like when I switch it from one side to the other instead of going like this. And I love that he's still playing. He's dedicated. He's very dedicated. I miss Dior. I don't know why, but I've been having some really weird, like, not bruising, but like aches and pains. And I think it's just all of the transferring from boats and planes and trains and taxis and subways and all of those things. My body is catching up with me. <laughs> My body is saying, take me home and get me into a massage, uh, like, hand in stone or I think that's the one that I was using no promotion for them no free promotions for them but yeah I was part of hand in stone for a while and it was nice 
and for whatever reason today they have the fountain off so you guys probably saw yesterday I think right that here whoosh, there was the fountain and um, it's really nice but it's sad when it's not there on my last night I have not been on this Ferris wheel before though so that'll be a first How's the reception? I feel like it must not be very good. Mom's not even talking. It's good? It's so weird that I can't see your bubbles at the bottom. <laughs> so I don't know who's in here. I mean, I guess I could click the number and see. Let's see. Well, no, that's who's been in here. Oh, no, no, okay. So mom's in here pumping hearts. J. Earl, Andre. Mike, Vip, Alex, Smith. If you guys haven't already, share this out. I'm going to give you a little bit more of a view around. It's in and out. It's every time I change the direction of the camera. That's why I can't change the direction of the camera. It's so crazy. It's like every time I flip the camera, it freezes or it glitches. Oh, yeah. That's the plan. Let's see what time is it. 7.30. So I said I was going to get on there at around 8. Um, we're going to ask how long of a ride you get to take. But the um, it goes, I think, the sun goes down at like 8.26. So, yeah. I don't want to go too early. I'm not moving and do not showing all around. Oh, I am not. The last couple days haven't been as busy and I think it's because it got cold. Um, the first couple days there was just so many people everywhere. There's actually areas to sunbathe and there was this little like pebbly beach that I was going to go to because um, when I first got here it was hot uh, and then the last couple days it just it got so cold it was just ridiculous ridiculously cold. I know Frito you and my mom have that in common. There was another street performer down the other way that people were cheering for, but I didn't get to see who it was or what they were doing. Actually, last night there wasn't, and it was a Saturday night, so I, I don't know. And I'm standing right here. There's no real lines, and there's lots of empty, um, lots of empty cars up there. Aloha! Hi, Fubar! Here, look at this, guys. I didn't bring... I didn't bring any bread. So I can't feed them today. But... Look at little swan. Actually, it's all enclosed, so I don't think it'll be colder. It actually might be warmer because <laughs> there's no wind. And probably once the sun goes down, it's not going to be a good night for a stroll only because I didn't pack sweaters and coats and whatever. Otherwise, I would take one last stroll here um, at night because this side lights up, which I think you guys saw when the sun was going down yesterday. This side kind of starts to light up, or not yesterday, day before. This side kind of starts to light up, and they're really, really expensive hotels. Um, and this side lights up too, but not as much as not as much as the other one. So it's nice. Just a very chill day. 
It's a beautiful day today. I wish it wasn't so cold. But that's okay. How's the weather in Florida, Mom? Because the last I saw, one of you guys sent me a little um, couple pictures from Tampa and it looked like a tornado. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to sneeze on camera. Hot red time, red tide, big storm last night. It's hot, but there's a big storm last night. Thank you. <laughs> it seems I'm very tired. I'm just really relaxed, and I am. I think I'm just, you know, traveling can be exhausting, especially doing it the way that I've been doing it. <laughs> um, and, you know, I think that. I'm rested. The last few days I've had plenty of sleep. I just, um, I think that my energy level has kind of dropped and it's all just catching up with me, which is kind of what I expected, which is why ending here in Geneva was not a bad idea at all. Looks like he's done. So I was going to try to go live once we get on the Ferris wheel. So I was thinking, um, saving his data because my card is not working here I'm still on his data uh, saving my data maybe we would have a shorter scope now and then I will try to do a scope up in the Ferris wheel kind of take you guys with me if I can you know I always try but it doesn't always work <laughs> it shook the whole house mom it was that bad Yes, this is like Geneva. Here. You missed the boats. I took some pictures, but there were some big boats that were leaving here for dinner cruises, sunset cruises, um, things like that. The big fountain that shoots like 400 some gallons of water uh, a minute is now not shooting any water. I've been so annoyed with that all day. It's so, I feel like it's so relaxing to sit there and watch it. So I'm like, why isn't the, the fountain on? <laughs> Tarzan, I'm sure, was not happy with the storm. He doesn't like thunder, let alone something that would shake the house. Oh, you're in the Arizona. What part? I lived in Arizona for three years. I really loved Phoenix. Except for Schnottsville, which is what we called Scottsdale. Snot, snot, snot That's what we called it. Snot stale. Oh, there's a boat over there. That one's parked for the evening, though. Over here. Yeah, mom loves Sedona. We liked uh, Sedona and Williamsburg and uh, the Grand Canyon. I've been. I think when we were living there, I went to the Grand Canyon like maybe four or five times. Took my dad. Took my mom. Took my grandmother. Uh, we went up by ourselves. Maybe it was only four times. Yeah, maybe it was four times. But the Grand Canyon, you it just for me, it do doesn't get old. It's another thing. It's like, you know, it's something that's majestic. So, uh, Salu, it's um, something that's majestic. So it's not something that um, I would say gets old. You know? Oh, it's just Williams. Thanks, Mom. Why you gotta laugh at me? Just help me. Why you gotta laugh? Yeah, Grandma said it was just a big hole. I took my grandmother, who, you know, hasn't got to see much of the world, and she complains about that. Um, my name is Isabel Wanderlust. Welcome to my scope. If you aren't already here, let me give you a little reminder before I go on to tell you about my grandmother. Uh, let me put this up here. Easy click for a follow and easy click to share. Um, so my grandmother hasn't seen much of the world because she's the oldest of 11 girls. Or, the, yeah, the oldest of girls, of the girls, and there's 11 kids. So there's two boys, which makes, what, nine girls. So anyways, she says she always had a baby in her bed, blah, 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 all these things. Very understandable, um, but... When I said, okay, well, I'm, we're going to fly you out because I needed some help. I was having some back troubles. I said, um, 
you know, <laughs> I was like, Grandma, how about we go see Sedona and the Grand Canyon? And we drive up there, and she, she liked Sedona. She thought it was beautiful. Um, right now, I'm in Geneva, Switzerland. So she liked it. But she says, uh, she says, um, she sees the Grand Canyon. Okay, we can go. Like, what? And she says, yeah, I've seen it now. But Grandma, it's gorgeous. There's like all these other cool lookouts. Like, I know all these different spots. Don't you want to go? No, no. Um, it's really, I mean, it's just a big hole in the ground. And my grandmother's very religious. She's, you know, very Roman Catholic. And that's how I grew up with her, you know. So I pulled that card and I said, but Grandma, God made it. God made that big hole in the ground special. Isn't that special? And, and she was like, well, yes, of course, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> I was just like, okay, who says that? Who gets a free trip to the Grand Canyon and complains that it's just a hole in the wall? A hole in the wall, a hole in the ground. She did appreciate Sedona, which is beautiful with the gorgeous red rock. Uh, especially at sunset. Sunsets in Sedona are just beautiful. And, um, yeah. I think I remember calling my mother, actually, because I also took my grandmother to the same uh, little place that I took my mom, which is like a halfway point in between Sedona and the Grand Canyon that was so pretty. And uh, here, I'll keep giving you guys a look around for anybody who's popping in and out. So, um, she... Uh, <laughs> I thought grandma's gonna love this little place it's so it's one of the oldest hotels in uh, Arizona and it's like very original everything there's so many things like it even slants a little bit it's even off you know it's not straight so like the floor kind of goes like this it's got very quaint and and all these different things and I'm like okay grandma's gonna love this it's adorable and uh, lots of little antiques and she was just like eh. and I remember I called my mom in tears like I don't like hanging out with grandma this is depressing she's I'm doing all this stuff for her she just doesn't care she doesn't appreciate it <laughs> so pick your travel partners carefully <laughs> you said something similar at the Niagara Falls I was like cool there's a casino here right <laughs> Saul <laughs> I mean don't get me wrong um, Yes, yeah, Suiza, Suiza, Suiza. Look. Geneva, Switzerland. Yeah, exactly. But I knew I would never pick her to travel with again. <laughs> uh, she would be like, nice lake. We have a river in Cincinnati. That's what she would say. Nice lake. We have a river in Cincinnati. I barely go see that. That's what, <laughs> that's what Grandma would. She's not much of a traveler. Even though she likes to say that all of these things kept her from traveling. And don't be that person. Don't be 70, 80 years old. She just turned 80 actually this year, uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, don't turn 80 and look back and start griping about what you didn't get to do. Um, and it wasn't because she was super poor or, you know, <sighs> She had a family, don't get me wrong, you know, that takes up time and whatnot, but don't don't be that grouchy old person who who just has nothing but regrets, you know? You wanna make sure that if you have regrets, it's because you tried everything and maybe you made some mistakes, but you don't wanna be that person who didn't get to do anything and then just complains about didn't get to do anything. It's like, no, you, you gotta learn to make it happen, you know? Lots of things on this trip did not go well for me and did not go as planned, but I still did it. I can still say I went to all of these places and I experienced all of these things and I tried all these different foods and I met all these different people, so. <laughs> Trust me, it wasn't from grandma. Grandma's just negative, negative Nancy. Yeah, there, Mom says, from me, dork. Look at her. Rico, hi. Yeah, if you, uh, right now I'm in uh, Geneva, Switzerland. If you, um, it's really, I feel like it's prettier on the other side because you can see all of the buildings lit up with the sun. Hold on, like over here. But yeah, she's just one of those people that's just super negative, and we all have our negative 
sometimes I'm I can be quite negative I'm very good at being positive for other people but I can be quite negative when it comes to things about myself my mother will attest to this and so will brother Frito they both heard it many times um, I am not a bundle of positivity at all times but I try I do try and I'm much better at it for you all that I am for myself which is what's important right helping your neighbor forget about yourself I'm just, kidding. just kidding take care of yourself people take care of yourself it's just one of those things you know we're all trying to better ourselves oh now I hear clapping again let's go over there hey Carlos I want to go check out what's uh over there there's some clapping I want to see if there's like a street performer you're on holiday sorry my English but I'm French oh you're a French bonjour Alex, is it? Oh, almost, not yet. You're not already starving my English. You are in holiday. Kind of, yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you guys, quit making fun of me. Hold on. Let's see what's going on over here. I think there's dancing. Maybe not. Maybe. Hold on. Shh. Yeah, me too, Bruce.
I feel the same way, Mom. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. It's been a long day we began. Tell you all about it. I like this song. Um, so the sun is setting here in the next. Mm, 30 minutes so here in a second I think what I'm gonna do is head up there and see if I can't catch some of the sunset at a little bit different of a point of view than down here but yeah mom I agree hi Henry I agree it was a bit underwhelming I was like um what's he gonna do the string thing was cool but I was like it took you a half an hour to get to the string did you see it did you see his show? Yeah. Did you see? Uh, uh, no, uh, we're just we're, we're discussing the fact that it was a little underwhelming. 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 It means like not excited. It means like uh, like oh okay. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Uh, saludos, Chicago. But yeah, you want to go check out. Oh, I guess it's sponsored by Arab Bank. Yeah. Hey, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what this idea is. What's the idea? Let's go to the sun. Let's go to the sun. He's cold. Put your cup out and sing a little louder. Yeah, right. Henry, I would love to do that and make some extra money, but that would have to be one of those things where I get him to bring a guitar and we do... Uh, Thanks for the super hearts, big dog. Um... But yeah, I would say he, we'd need him to get out his guitar in order for me to sing. I mean, I could sing some things a cappella. I can sing the American, the national anthem. I don't know that that would go over well here. Um, can You can take it back on the lake. Yeah, sure, I'm sure you could. Woo, the sun makes me very glousy. Um But yeah, so... I mean, we were, the other night he was playing the guitar and we were doing, um, and today we're in a really great place to see the sunset, but there's no clouds, so there's going to be maybe some color, but it won't do that whole reflecting thing I was telling you about that, uh, reflects, even though the horizon isn't right there, it reflects, but it hadn't been for love. Oh, yeah, I don't know that song. All right, guys, well, I'm going to call that, uh, the end of the scope, so... I'm gonna head up to. So you wanna be live when you're up there? I was thinking about going live. I thought I would end it and start I, again. I checked Astral Hub data. How long uh, did you say you, you talked to them to find out? Oh. No, I checked on the website. Oh, how's the data doing? So I have two gigabytes and I used 800. Okay, that's not too bad. He had two gigabytes of data, and we've used 800 of his gigabytes going live. No, we are Hi, here. Florida guy. So, yeah, now it's got to be more. Uh, we've only been live for about 40 minutes. So, you want to walk up and see how much it is and ask how long it takes? We can do that. And if we can get right on, although, I don't know, do you want to do it right now? Well, it depends on how long it is. Still... The sun's going to be like shining right in our face. It's not going to be... Well, you don't want to go up at 8.20 when the sun's actually gone down. Look. Look at this. They do Toblerone... Toblerone crepes. And then they have cotton candy. And this is all the time. This is here all the time. We should just... We should ask... I know, right, Mom? He asked me if I wanted to buy chocolates for you. I said that would be great. That would be great. I said, but Mom and I are trying not to eat chocolates. 
No, there's everything here is so expensive. And seeing as how I've been traveling for a month, there's not much left for souvenirs. Or a room in my bag. I hate these bots because I never know who is who. Does it say how long it is? I've been giving away what few euros I have. Um, bring you a rock. Uh, it doesn't say like the length of time. Oh, oh, oh. So, so, so. This is what it looks like. Originally, I'm from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio in the States. Dark Swiss chocolate. Can you see? So it's, it's pretty closed up. It's enclosed. So I don't think I'll be cold up there. Yes, it looks safe. Should we go now? We should ask them how long, about how long the ride is. You haven't eaten Nes Nestle chocolates? Nestle? Nestle chocolate. Mm, I've had it my whole life. Every, what is it, Halloween? This is one of the things that's lit up so brightly at night. Look at this. It's Rolex. It's a pretty puppy. So we're going to find out how long it is. And based on how long it is, because it's almost 8. Well, if it's 15 minutes, if it's 10 or 15 minutes, then it's good. Right? If the sun goes down supposedly at 8.24 and it's 7.58 now, how long? Well, then we want to wait. <laughs> so they said it's five minutes. So you definitely don't want to do it now because the sun is just beaming into your face. <laughs> like this. <laughs> so we're going to go up there, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer. So I'm going to end the scope and then we will go live from up there. Carlos, you photo bombs. You got into the, the picture? What? You got into the picture? Okay, I'm going to put Rolex in the back. Or no, I should put this in the back. Look at the flowers. Okay? Yeah, he is. I think he just didn't I think he just didn't see it. <laughs> All right. So I will see you guys uh, shortly if we have reception up there. Um, probably within the next 10 or 15 minutes. 15 minutes, right? Yeah, 15. We'll see you soon.